Chuck, I, I want you to feel and appreciate the sky as much as I do anytime I walk out. Oh, that's not going to happen. Out of this office. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> You've been looking up since you were like nine years yeah, old. Yeah, or younger, yeah. Right. Yeah. I've been looking down for loose change on the street, okay? <laughs> Couple things. And I, this is random. I'm just put random stuff on the table here, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Nobody doesn't love a good sunset. This is true. Okay. I have to say that I've seen countless. I don't know how many. And they, don't, they never got old. And I love them every single time. Every single time. And I still love watching them drop beneath the horizon. Exactly. That last that bit of last sun. That last bit of sun. That's right there. Yeah. Okay. It's always great. So here's a fun experiment. Go I do ahead. this all the time. What is it? Okay, you ready? Go ahead. I did this in the desert where it was easier, but you can do it anywhere. Please. Okay. You lay down, feet facing sunset, and okay. you watch the sun set. Okay. Right. The instant the sun sets, jump to your feet. And the sun rises again. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, that, wait. In that instant, okay. In that five feet, 10 inches, yes. I can jump up and still see the sun. In that instant, yes. Because that gives you a greater sight line over the curvature of the earth I mean, than I, you had when you, when you were laying surface. down. I get it. I do, I do this all the time, it's fun. Are you sure? Oh yeah. I'm good. Are you just pranking me? <laughs> Because people see me on the beach trying to watch the sunset. What the hell is he and doing? Like Pop up. And, and then all of a sudden I jump up. In that instant and you'll catch the sun. For real? Yes. Yes. Well, here's one. If you wake up before sunrise. All right. Ask yourself exactly where the sun is going to rise on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Because you're in twilight. And in twilight, the sky. Whole, whole sky, sky gets is brighter. illuminated. Okay, like, yeah. it's a illuminating. glow. It's a glow. It's, it's a glow, and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Right. Which apparently some attorneys and many storytellers do not understand. They think it it's, is dark. Right. Until the sun is above the horizon. It is always darkest before the dawn. That's also that's also BS. Yeah. It's darkest in the middle of the night. That, of course. Right. It is. Really light before dawn. Yeah. <laughs> it is always darkest before the dawn because I am wearing a sleeping mask. <laughs> so you just bet yourself where you think it's going to rise. It's a fun little thing. Listen, if you know, if I'm ever up before the sunrise, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try that. But uh... <laughs> it sounds like you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and there's several movies, including John Wick Four and Back to the Future. In each of those movies, there's a scene where it's completely dark, mm -hmm. and seconds later, it's sunrise, and you see the sun. They had no understanding of how bright twilight How bright twilight can be. It really, it really is. Exactly. Okay. So uh, here's another thing. It's brightest right over the horizon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. If you turn around and face the opposite, opposite direction, direction, you will see a darkened gray area right behind you what that is night running from the sun mm, that's exactly right that is earth shadow through our atmosphere oh that's super cool that is on its way down while the sun is on its way up that's very cool things to do before the sun actually rises look for that shadow in space it starts out higher and then it gets lower and lower that's cool all right i'm just things to check out <laughs> okay that's all i'm saying so far you're Two for three. <laughs> oh, two for three. Uh, two oh. of those I would do, but I still got to get up, so I might as well go ahead and do the other one, too. All right. So, so uh, you can download now a GPS compass. The, right. the old-fashioned compasses that intrigued Albert Einstein, that right. got him interested in physics, mm -hmm. where he said, oh, my gosh, there's a force on, and on right. the needle. There's a force on the, the needle, Boy and Scout I don't compass. even know. The Boy Scout compass. Everybody right. knows that. Right. So no one has that anymore, but you right. can download an app where that has Yeah, everybody has directions. it on your phone. Do that. Next time you watch sunset. Okay. And you will discover that unless it's March 21st or September 21st, the sun is not rising due east, nor is it setting due west. It is rising and setting somewhere else on the on horizon. On the horizon. Somewhere else on the horizon. Okay. So this old adage, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, is true on two days a year only. So both those days, the equinox? Equinox, equinox, equinite. Equinox, okay. yeah, equinite. So, yeah, so day and night are equal. On those two days. So let, let, let's let's hike north from here, and you find out in the summer months, the sun rises way north of east and sets way north of west. Mm -hmm. 
well, wait a minute. If it keeps doing this, there's not much place for it to sink below the horizon. Right. Because they're going to meet. Okay, you keep doing this. You walk farther north, and you get to the Arctic Circle. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Why is it the Arctic Circle? Because on the solstice... Okay. The sun rises due north and sets due north. Oh, snap. Therefore... It neither rises nor sets. It does, it's up 24 it's hours. It's up 24 hours. That's 24 hours of light. Look at that. By the way, we're in the Arctic. Did I bring a change of clothing? <laughs> <laughs> so the rise and set points just changes all the time. And there's a point where to say east and west is almost meaningless. So that's why it's one of these adages that is very came out of a very restricted place on Earth. Right. And they're thinking the whole world is like that. Yeah, but that's really cool to think about because there is no east and west when, when you look at the fact, solstice on, the, uh, on, on that, the North Pole. On the North Pole. I say, go west, young man. Every direction you step is due south. No, right, exactly. <laughs> so on the North Pole, the sun actually never, never rises. Never rises. It, just, it just circles right. around, and then it gets to the horizon. An interesting fact, when does Jewish Sabbath begin? Oh, actually, Friday night. Exactly. Right. Do you know when on Friday? Uh, well, fr- Saturday nights were made for fighting, so... <laughs> It has to be sometime sundown there Friday. Sundown Friday. Right. But suppose you're north of the Arctic Circle. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, guess what? When does your Sabbath begin? Oh, I just became Christian. <laughs> they didn't know. Mm-hmm. They oh. didn't know anything about the Arctic Circle when exactly. all the Bibles were written. Right. It was not no, a no, thing. No, not a thing. Not a thing. And so they had to come up with rules later. Did so you- what if you're up in the Arctic Circle and you're doing research and... You have to observe the Sabbath. Yeah. What do you do? So what you do is, right. so you link yourself to some holy place where then, and then you join them in that ce- in that celebration oh, and observance. Cool. Okay, I get right. it. So it could be Jerusalem typically. Right. So when is Jerusalem doing it? Then I'm going to do it here. Okay. You would do that in space travel too, if you're on the moon. Right. And you, you want to do something religious. Exactly. And certainly no right. sunrise or sunset you, you can't on the link moon. It to the moon. I mean, right. You, you can't link it to any of these yeah. uh, cardinal facts. And in Islam... The uh, Ramadan, Ramadan. Uh, that links to sunset as well. Because you're fasting, you, you, you you are not allowed to break your fast until sunset. Until sunset, and that right. that's a sad situation. Well, what happened? If well, you're he in died. The Arctic he, circle. he lived in the Arctic <laughs> Circle, so he just starved to death. So far, this is very good. All right, all I'm, right. I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. All right. Which, so, by the way, when we started, I was like, "This is the dumbest explainer we have. I don't know what the hell we're doing do. here." But this is good. Get a like a 12 story building that all has right. a sight of a horizon. Okay. I got you. All right, and. Get a friend to hang out the window on each floor. Sure, I have those people. (laughs) (laughs) And raise their hand the instant they see the sunset. Oh, oh. And it'll go go one, one, two, three, four, up, all the way up. It's basically one second per floor. Per floor. That's cool. That makes sense. That's the evidence Earth is round. Yes. Dude. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of evidence. (laughs) (laughs) There's a lot of evidence there. So I, I like looking at buildings as I see the sunset line come up the side of the building. You need very good transparency of the atmosphere Mm -hmm. because if it's hazy, then the sun is diffuse. There are certain buildings, especially in lower Manhattan, that do that at sunset. Yes, and and lower Manhattan is very exposed to the sun. Exactly. Setting over New Jersey, which is a clean horizon. Very clean horizon. For that. Yeah. So a couple more, because the sunset and sunrise points changes daily everywhere, in the world, mm-hmm. there will always be a spot, depending on how wide that variation is, mm-hmm. you can find a street where the sun sets or rises on that street, as I did for Manhattan. That's Manhattan Hinge. Manhattan Hinge. Yeah. You gotta find the day. People talk about high noon. What do they mean by that? Well, they mean that's when the sun is directly overhead. Yeah, that is not true for anyone in the continental United States any time of day, any day of the year. No such thing as high noon. Well, at some point, the sun's got to be directly overhead. It's not. Really? It is only ever directly overhead between 23 and a half degrees south and 23 and a half degrees north. Oh, so you got to be close to the equator. Yes. So you can only get the sun coming straight over you if you're down at the very baddest part of the earth. Has Santa ever seen the sun directly overhead? No. No. Why would this, what would the sun be doing directly over the North Pole? Exactly. It makes no sense. Right, because okay? it doesn't go around us this the, the, way. Yeah, it doesn't go that <laughs> way, right? <laughs> so it's because the Earth's axis is tilted. We're tilted 23 and a half degrees. Right. There's a 23 and a half degree range around the equator. Right. And it only happens for them two days a year. 
Right. Okay. That's a rare thing. It's completely rare. Wow. Okay. So now, in our winter time, why does it get mm. cold? Because the sun is not up for very long, and it's pretty low on the horizon at all times. All right. Do you know the highest the sun gets in the middle of the New York winter? I do not. Just by, by degrees. You remember, there's 90 degrees. Right. There's like 45, 45. degrees. You know, just pick, a, right. pick a degree. I'm going to say in a New York winter. Yeah. I'm trying to look at where the sun is, but the sun, mm, I'm going to say 50 degrees. 50 degrees, like, like about that. Yeah. Okay. No. No. It's half that. Half. Half. It might be 26. So that means in Manhattan, the sun hardly ever gets seen because buildings Yeah, the buildings are block it, and that. that's true. In the wintertime, it's awful. Correct. Every day looks a little cloudy, unless you're on a certain avenue and or street. And it's gray right. and the like. And it's, but it's all building Building, block. Building it's all building block. Right. The sun rises south of east and sets south of west, so it doesn't get very high on the horizon, mm. even at its highest. Mm. So it turns out Key West... Which is not only the westernmost part, right? Of, of, but it's also southernmost southern part of the continental part. United States. Oh, that's right. Key West just barely misses that line. Okay. So they'll get very close to a high noon, but it's, right. they're going to be off by a degree or so. Uh, Hawaii is 15 degrees north. We're oh, good. Good. Yeah. They'll get it. They'll get high noon. A couple more things, and then I, do, are you enjoying this? I don't know. This is so far so good. We, I'm still with you. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so you've heard of the North Star. Yes. Do you know why it's called the North Star? I would assume because it's north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is north, and it is above Earth's North Pole. Okay. So as Earth rotates, it neither rises nor it doesn't. It's just right. there because we're always sort of pointing to it. It's important during the Underground Railroad. Uh huh. Because if you knew your stars, you always knew if you headed towards the North Star, that would get you out of the South, mm -hmm. no matter where you were. You just keep walking. Just keep walking towards that. Towards that. Because what would happen, if you keep walking towards it, it will get higher in the sky, but it'll still always be north. Right. If it's directly overhead, you've just met who? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the real Santa Claus. <laughs> yes, you just met Santa Claus. Okay. What angle is straight up from the 90. North? The North Pole is 90 degrees latitude. Okay, because you're coming from zero. Zero up to 90. Right. Okay, that's the altitude of the North Star. You right. just told so, me. Yes, yeah, ninety degrees. Yeah. So, your latitude on Earth, Earth is your elevation above. Your latitude on Earth is the elevation of Polaris, the North Star, above the horizon. Oh God, that makes perfect sense. Yes, it does. Yes. Same damn thing, right? That is. So Santa Claus is directly overhead. That's ninety degrees up. He's at ninety degrees latitude. If he starts walking south, which is any direction he moves, right? If he's on the pole, he's walking he's south. He's descending towards de zero. He's descending towards zero, and the North Star will get lower, lower and, and lower and lower. And lower and as on he the walks. equator, where's the North Star? Oh, oh, what a shame! In the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it just sunk. It just, it just it's it, right it, on yeah, the horizon. It's a shame. Okay, so now when you go south of that, that so yeah, they don't get to they, see they it. They don't. Plus, they don't have a South Pole star. Mm, they don't have Jesus in the <laughs> south. <laughs> what? That's a shame. <laughs> All right, there's more of this. We can maybe do another installment. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I'm, I, I actually didn't think I would like this conversation, <laughs> this but it's actually cool. This is Star Talks uh, Explainer on Sky Phenomena. Until next time, keep looking up.